We've just got back from hell. The darkness pulled us out. We must have stitched us back together. And now we're back in the real world. But we've just seen our mate Freddy Krueger over here. So let's see what he's got to crack a lacking. My God, Jackie, where the fuck you been hiding? First Jenny gets murdered. Your ass goes up in smoke. Everyone's thinking Paulie blew you the fuck away. He did, Jimmy. I just came back is all. You know, your Aunt Sarah, that poor woman, that poor woman would just sit there in her Raspberry Street apartment and wait just for you, yeah, just for you to show up. You ever do one thing right in this whole mess, in this whole life of yours, you go down to the Lower East Side and you see her, you hear me? You go down to Raspberry Street and you go see your Aunt Sarah. This better not be a setup. Oh, I'll come back and I'll string you up. Okay. Hey Jack, you heard the police got pity pajamas, don't you? Oh, I can help him. Now, what about them? What happened is, the cops brought him in, they took him down in the basement to do a kind of impromptu Q&A with him, you know what I'm saying? Playing 20 questions. The problem with Pete is this, he's weak, he's real weak. You give him some fucking Indian burns and he'll squeal like a stuffed pig. But Pete, he knows stuff. Jackie, we need to shut that little piece of shit up. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's bound to tell those cops he's gonna leak down to Paulie, and if that happens, whoa, that's bad for all of us. All right. Where are they keeping him? Yeah, but that's the problem. We don't know where the fuck he is. We got a door number, and that's it. You gotta keep your eye open for door 261, you hear me? 261? Okay. Two six one. Lower East Side Olive Grove Restaurant. Well, we know where that is. Lower East Side. This is it. Keep an eye out for two six one. Only. Oh, wow, we're, oh, we're seeing multi-dimensional things here. Or two six one. I don't know if this is going to be in Lower East Side or not, but there are some apartment blocks. How cool is that? Like actual work and ticket stores. My Aunt Sarah. Now she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now when her husband Jimmy Franchetti died, the family forgot about her. Except for the older guys. And me. I saw the butcher shop. Yeah, do you know what the sad thing is? Oh, that is. This is the house I'm supposed to go to, isn't it? It is. Jack! Oh, I've been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I, I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? I'd love some. Yeah, I was wondering if we go back to this, um, Jenny's apartment. If we'll get like a vision or something. A nice place she's got here. Nice house. I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this. Aunt Sarah. I lost her. And what the hell am I gonna do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, 
You should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry for the way things came out, Aunt Sarah. Now you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. But I'm gonna have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schrote and punish them for what they did. Eddie Schrote. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Paulie's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Part of my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats. But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Paulie unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schrote. Now, I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape, and he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. And I suggest you go there and take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can. Right, Gun Hill. Yeah, because when they mentioned the copper, the police dog, Schrott, at the very start of the game when we were in the car, in the intro, he said, like, why why are they attacking us? It's Schrott's men. That's because he's, um... What is the... Paulie's, he's, he's Paulie's lap dog. Gun Hill. Right, I'm not entirely sure where that is. We don't have it on the map yet. What I did want to do is, right, wait, that was that house. That's the... Right, I'm gonna go back down here. Post letters. I've got no idea what that was for. Yeah, I wanna go back to Jenny's apartment block just to see if the apartment two whatever they two six one. Was her apartment down? No, it's not down there. Jenny! Where's Jenny? But no idea. Oh no, I can't get down that way. It's not necessarily an apartment number, is it? It could be a door number, 261. Uh, forget about it. If I come across it, I come across it. Let's just go with the story. So we've got to try and find a way to Gun Hill. Imagine if we go back down the subway and see if we can speak to the grape again. He might help us. Oh my god, I've run into another dead end. Oh my goodness. Mate, don't go down there, it's a dead end. I've just made that mistake. I just realised as well, this is a completely different place. Jenny's house was in Chinatown, wasn't it? We're in Lower East Side. 
I'll never find it here. <laughs> I'll never find it. I'll never find it. We're in the complete wrong zone. I'm worried, Dad. It's like I have everything to live for and nothing to gain. I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schrote into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. We're looking for Gun Hill. I don't think I've ever seen any signs for that. Not yet, anyway. Cemeteries that way. How right. are you doing? How are you doing? The thought was about uh, Gun Hill or not? No. All right. So, uh, what's the word? Can't talk to him. Right, where are we? We're in Canal Street Station or whatever. Gun Hill. Bolton Street. Right. The police got PD pajamas somewhere. Find him and make sure you don't rat anybody out. The only lead we got is Bolton. That's where we're going. So we should be able to just go off and exit here and get ourselves to Gun Gun Hill. It might be the gate that was locked Anyone as soon as we arrive in the area. Is dangerous. Never sat in the back of a yellow cab. Grinders Lane. It's not where we want to be. Or is it? Orphanage. That's the car Hey, how you been doing, Gavo? It's me, Danny. V. Got some old men with their dicks flapping in the breeze and their noses seriously out of joint, you know what I mean? And that little schmuck Paul, he's gone too far. He's got some fucking West Coast assholes doing all our meaningful labor. Jesus Christ, we've been earners for this family for more years than I care to remember. And now this. What do you say I put him over a barrel and show him the true spirit of family loyalty? I knew we could count on you, Jackie. There's an entire gang of these idiots. We need you to put them in the ground one by one. Where are they? Now, the first one's been tailing your Aunt Sarah, but don't think she don't know every move he makes. It's gonna be where we where we just came from. Right, I'm a bit lost here. We should be able to get there from Fulton Street. Fulton Station. Rinders Lane. Gun Hill, did that say? Oh my god, we found the door. Try not to judge, but for what he did to you, both sides are as good as dead. Oh, I can smell vengeance.
Not much going on here. Hostile or not? Alright mate. Well, you took your sweet time, didn't you? I'm Abe Hunter. I don't know where the fuck you been. What? You hit traffic or something? All right. Schroet's up in his place. It's been there about an hour, maybe. Five will get you ten. He won't be expecting no company. Only about five people even know where he lives. Thanks for the info. Now, how do I get in? Listen. Ride up in the elevator and go straight in. Follow the stink. You can't fucking miss it. All right, here you go, pal. Okay, so you got the key to Schroet's apartment. The elevator's over there. All right, well, let me just... Aha! This might... Is this a trap? We could take the lift. Ah, oh, it's dead end. Come on then. Yeah, you don't know who you can trust. This is good. Well, there's Schroet's apartment. Borna. Right, we're about to go in. We're going in hot. But first off. Darkness, everybody, darkness. Throat. Get wrecked. They were in such a dumb shit. Jenny might still be alive. Get out. Okay. You cockroaches. <laughs> Is there an alternative way? I doubt it. I've got an idea. Got an idea. Can we grab it? Oh, there we go. That's what we were waiting for. Oh, we're going to see if we can grab the helicopter.
Not entirely sure where we're going. We're going down. Light it up! Oh, you can switch the lights off manually, I didn't know you could do that. Whew. Yeah, you can kill humans with these guns, but they're not great. Yeah, these guns are shit. Hey, what's good? A shotgun. Here's Johnny. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Get the lights killed. So where are we headed? Moral of the story is, don't attack helicopters. What I was trying to do is, I was trying to get a grab with a tentacle. What are we doing here? Yeah? Right, what I'm gonna try and do is. I'm gonna stay here. You're probably not meant to do this.
Okay. So what we figured out is you actually have to escape this place. Come on, get me health back quick. That's what you meant to do. He has me trying to fight it. <laughs> oh, hello. says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way is this even the right way miles an hour through the midtown tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of english i'm so lost no we're going the wrong way this is the way we came in Real all right. That was a civilian, that wasn't even a but what is the Does anyone know what we're actually meant to be doing here? Yeah, because I'm gonna fucking clue. Unless we're meant to go back, because we never caught that guy. Ah, we'll just go back. I've got no idea what's happening. See, oh no, no, no! Look, we can't go down there now. What? Can't go, <laughs> bro. Not gonna lie, this game definitely needs work. It's like so confu. Oh no, is this the door that we went? Oh, that's the door we went down. Let's go this way. I think this is probably where we have to go. I think what this game could have done with is maybe like a cutscene or something after you finish an objective so you know because you don't really get that and it, it leaves you in like a state of limbo thinking well have I finished the mission? Or am I supposed to? Oh there we go we did. I got some information for you. That should have happened earlier on. Butcher. Yeah. Oh shit! Butcher! Who's Butcher? Can we ring him? Keeping this bag of goodies. Well, as you might expect, Eddie and his goons snag a lot of confiscated goods for themselves. They stash most of it in the old Turkish baths. It's hard to get there, though, if you don't know how. But from Fulton, there's a connection to the old City Hall station. You'll need to get past the gate between Fulton and City Hall. But Schroot's gang 
makes damn sure it's always locked. However, someone whispered in my ear that they keep a key hidden somewhere in the public toilets at Fulton Street Station. Okay. I'm off to grab Paulie and short fucker's piece of candy. Thanks, Butch. Be careful, Jackie. Go to the old Turkish bears and get that suitcase. Then meet me at those same public toilets at Fulton Street Station. The ones where they keep the key to the gate. I'll be waiting there for you when you come back. Right, okay. Find the key, and we do the mission, and then come back to where we found the key. It's gonna be in the men's toilets. There it is. Now we need to find the gate. Was it the central station, central station or something? Turkish baths. Hold on. That was Gunhill, so it's on the other side. So it's on this side. That must be it. Oh, is that the one we came? Is that. No, that's Gunhill, so no, we were on the right side there. at this gate here let's say you could get past this gate you could walk all the way to the old city hall station as long as you didn't tread on any dead hookers <laughs> oh yeah hopefully fingers crossed mate walking down these um, alleyways next to the subway reminds me a bit of a um, Oh, what was it called? Zombie game Xbox. Dead. Yeah, I kind of believe I forgot what it's called. Dead Rising. That's what it reminds me of. This is City Hall. You know, it used to be a subway station. But it pretty much went to hell a few years ago. It's the only way through to where I need to go. Back to the motherfuckers who killed you. Human misery. Suffer. A disease of the mind and heart. Fast as air. It's a good place to die. A good day to die. These were just homeless guys. I was just brutally murdered. I thought they were bad guys. <laughs> Sorry. A road work outfit. I think those outfits are for the little gremlins, but I don't actually know how you equip them. Sorry, bros. Let me open you up. The fuck? Here's Johnny. Maybe they were evil. <laughs> really?
Oh, he got lit up. Wait, hold on. So if we do this, can we grab that? No. Demolish? Come on, kamikaze guy, get down there. Put on there. No? No dice? No dice. Oh shit. They've got traps. Awesome. Pretty clever that. I did try whipping it with the tail but it didn't work. Laws electrocuted, or did he do that himself? Sorted. Won't go through there. Sorry, mate, you're gonna have to die. He survived. They're gonna have to go up, aren't we? Yes. Maybe not. Where right, wait there. Great difficulty here. Let's try it again. Get in the fucking hell, mate. Nice, now we're in. Who the fuck is this? No! Help me! No, it's not my time, Lord! Okay then. Wanna play them games, do you? Just throwing grenades in. He's actually locked in. How would we get in there? I can get through that hole.
Oh shit! Wait, this is tricky. If I just stand here, nothing can hurt us, can it? Oh, I've just seen it, look. I've just seen the vents. Can't do anything with them. Now wait there, is that a vent on the floor? Or is it the vent that we knocked off? I thought it was the vent that we knocked off. Yeah, it is. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Throw them, can we throw it with the arm? Do it. Oh, he must blow himself up eventually. Or not. I don't think it's very intuitive in it if I'm if I'm honest. You can't actually, you can't actually die here. This is dog shit. Oh, can you go down there? Lads, I've got no idea what to do. This is the most... This is dog shit. Eh? What, what? We're going to have to Google it again. Yeah, so far. I think Nostalgia remember this game being a lot better than it was before. When I remember it, it's pretty fucking dog shit like.
The darkness bomb room. The Schrott, the darkness. Um, how? Oh, this is so bad. Right, I'm just I'm just flipping through the walkthrough to try and get to where we are because I I can't find this in the bloody guide. Done all this shit. Right. Look some a barrier. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what we did So we we we've already done this, right? But the creep and dark won't go in. We've got to shoot. Oh my god, you do this. Just chain. Fucking idiot. Dickhead, your fucking boss battle was dog shit. I fucking hated it. That was terrible, that. The fucking chains didn't even fucking glow anything. Uh, did, I, did I or did I not do this? I fired fucking explosives and everything at them and nothing happened. The moral of the story is don't use the darkness guns because they're 100% pure fucking dog shit. That was so bad. So, so bad. Black hole acquired. Oh, come on, then give this a shot. I mean, that's good. But how do. Oh, now we can get up there for some whatever reason. Yeah, another thing I think in games where your jump's not very high is that if your jump is a set height, then don't make the ledges exactly that height. Because look, I can't get up it. Only once in a, in a blue moon can you make your way above. Now, now I can't fucking get it. It's just bad design. Yeah. The memories of this game is much better than what the game actually is. Story's good though. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. That was terrible. It actually hurt me ball sack. Fuck do I get out? Oh my god. Black hole. Hello? Now, what is this? The signpost in this game is 100%. I'm not even going to say dog shit, it's worse than dog shit. The fuck do I get out? Unlock the door. Wow, I mean, this is this is bad. This. Is this a, some sort of sick joke? I'm gonna have it. Can you believe it? Like, I don't know how to get. I don't even know how to get out.
Oh my days. I think we've already broke it. We've already, lads, we've, we've actually broke what we're meant to do here. Are we? No. No. Uh, use the black, yeah. Move the, use the black hole at the top of the stairs to move the gate. Uh, bro, how many times have I used the black hole to move the gate? Are you, are you, lads, I'm, I'm, I've got no words, I've got no words, I've just fired the black hole at that fucking door seven times and then it didn't work and then randomly it works, I'm right, I, I give up, I give up, get me out of here the fucking games dog, I can't even, get, I'm stuck on this nonce below me, Jesus, get out of here, I'm sick of this level, it's so bad, oh, it's not even the right way. Say a lot to my little friend. Hello. Whew. Okay. These are the old Turkish baths. Schroed secret warehouse full of stolen evidence. But I got a little birthday surprise waiting for me. Courtesy of good old Butcher Joyce. All I gotta do is get through half a legion of bank cops, find that suitcase, and bring it back to Butcher. Billy Butcher. Okay, hopefully the game gets better from here on out because that, that some of the, the same portion and bosses are terrible. Wait there, we can't oh. black hole I I guess. This black hole is going to be unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, only thing about black hole is it massively drains your life force. So, um, one light killer. You've got one job. My God, get wrecked. Yeah, once you use a black hole, it consumes all of your remaining name um, darkness power, so you gotta be really careful where you use it. As powerful as it is.
Not today, son. It's like the singularity from Mass Effect. Oh, the coppers! Yeah, we're unstoppable. It's so powerful. We don't even need to use the darkness guns anymore. Just use this. BEA uniform. Duck. Oh, it's a sauna. <laughs> We're in the sauna. Gonna explode. You're under arrest, shit for brain. I'm on it. Wrong. Oh, look at all this, these guns and all oh, there we go, we found a briefcase. Got him! I think we go out this way. No, back. What gun is this? It's an auto shotgun. Oh my god. It's an auto shotgun. No way. Can you not black hole the helicopter? Oh my god, we're just... Made it, we got it. Fuck you, you cockroaches! This is how we do it! Absolutely wrecked it. Watch this auto shotty time. Oh, I love it, I love it. 
Tight, 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 tight. Oh shit. I wasn't expecting the guy with the right shield, he actually caught us off guard. Feed me! Oh, baby, it's a fucking party. It's a party down here. Can't even get to the bodies. That must be it. Now I know a thing or two about ambushes, having set up most of Pauly's business in that regard for years. So I know when I'm about to be on the receiving end. Eddie's boys are gonna be out here intent on blowing my brains out. These fucking morons must think I was born yesterday. All right, All right. What we'll do there is, lads, we'll call an episode here. And when we come back, we want to get more revenge because there's only Pauly to take down next. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. It's been a bit junk this episode. The, the navigation and the boss battle was just the worst, just the bottom of the barrel. But we're past it. Hopefully, there's no more of that shit in the future. <laughs> See you there, lads.